As a science and technology university with a history of over 100 years, Tokyo Denki University now educates over 10,000 students from middle school to the graduate department. TDU has two main campuses. First is the ultra-modern Tokyo Senju campus, located within a one-minute walk of Kita Senju Station, a major train hub connecting five different train and subway lines. And second is the Hatoyama campus, set amongst the rolling hills of a nature park in Hatoyama City, Saitama Prefecture a perfect environment in which to study and carry out research. Each department in our school is devoted to nurturing technicians who will serve society's needs and who will also be both sensitive and resolute. In Japan, during the Meiji period, many new technologies and machines were imported to Japan. Though some people performed research into technology, many were concerned that there were too few who could handle the latest technology. Anxious about this situation and about the future of their country, two young technicians who were active in industrial circles, Hirota Seiji and Ogimoto Shinkichi, established a night school for people who worked during the day but wanted to learn more about their trade in the evening. With the motto, respect for practical study as their guiding principle, they set up their first Denki school in the Kanda area of downtown Tokyo in 1907 with only 14 students. This was the beginning of Tokyo Denki University. Seventeen years later, in 1924, the school performed its first experiment into radio technology, beating even the national broadcasting company NHK by one year. And just four years later, Takayanagi Kenjiro, the so-called father of television, conducted the first demonstration of television technology in the country. Thereafter, Tokyo Denki University contributed to the creation of a new era in Japan. After the war, TDU students often gathered in Akihabara, Japan's famous electric town. It is said that these students were instrumental in making Akihabara into the vibrant neighborhood it is today. Tokyo Denki University was also the first university in Japan to establish a nighttime graduate school, which allowed us to provide opportunities for high-level research and education to interested adults. TDU was also a driving force behind the boom in personal computing during the 1970s. In 2012, as part of our centennial celebrations, we built the new Tokyo Senju campus to meet the needs of our students for the next 100 years. Designed using cutting-edge energy-saving devices and disaster safety technology and advanced digitization, this architecturally minimalistic campus with few gateways or walls has become a landmark structure in the historic Senju neighborhood of Tokyo. There is a famous quote which has become a guiding principle behind the philosophy of education and research here at TDU. In the technology breathes its creator. This phrase was spoken by TDU's first president, Dr. Niwa Yasujiro, one of Japan's top 10 inventors of the mid 20th century and also one of the developers of facsimile technology. Along with the founding spirit, respect for practical study, Dr. Niwa's famous quotes that mean good engineers must also be honorable people have been handed down to Tokyo Denki University. We structure our curricula with the express aim to develop creative ingenuity in our students by offering numerous workshops to give them plenty of hands-on experience. For example, in the first year of the electrical engineering course, students even get to make their own facsimile in order to learn many useful manufacturing skills.
In 2017, we opened our new Monozukuri Center at our Tokyo Senju campus. Here, students turn ideas into finished products. They are taught by seasoned engineers how to operate a wide variety of the latest machine tools, measuring instruments, and other tools. Students at Tokyo Denki University can conduct research in a wide variety of areas. Our curricula also put special emphasis on areas of technology which are in particularly high demand in society today, such as energy, environmental, biomedical, and safety technologies. This is the School of System Design and Technology, which uses both engineering and human sciences to create a more comfortable lifestyle for people. At the Data Science and Machine Learning Laboratory, students gain experience in data science and use the latest machine learning and media management technologies to create small-scale artificial intelligence. This is the School of Science and Technology for Future Life, where students link knowledge of robotics, information technology, and architecture to develop ideas for comfortable homes of the future. At the Architectural and Environmental Planning Laboratory, students study the behavioral characteristics of children, senior citizens, and the physically handicapped to learn how their movements might be better supported by improved city and environmental planning. And the School of Engineering aims to train students in the skills necessary to solve the problems of modern society by providing them with practical experience in craftsmanship, from the basics to the advanced. Here at the Precision Medical Engineering Laboratory, we are developing a new material which controls its own friction by using specially developed electric controls. This new material can then be used in the creation of rehabilitation robotics and devices which are safer for the human body. The School of Science and Engineering integrates the study of physics with engineering to better understand biotechnology and landslide disaster prevention. At the Cellular Chemistry Laboratory, the main theme of study is the eradication of illness. Students contribute to the medical field by closely studying the science of cellular life cycles. At the School of Engineering Evening Division, people who work during the day can take courses in the evening to enhance their careers by learning new skills. This division is divided into three units which further the student's education in manufacturing design and development, end user safety and security, and career enhancement through learning new skills. Students can also participate in an international model planetary probe contest called the Space Project, where students create their own small-scale man-made satellites. Some students also participate in the so-called Formula SAE, a car race for aspiring automotive engineers. By participating, they learn not only the technology for producing automobiles, but also organizational management, cost control, and a wide range of other skills necessary in the automotive industry. Tokyo Denki University is justly proud of its many famous graduates who have become well-known in the fields of technology, industry, and even in literary circles. TDU's reputation in society is also high as our students have an extremely high rate of career placement directly after graduating. To follow through on our third goal as a school, that of contributing to society, we established the Center for Research and Collaboration in 2012. By strengthening the links between industry, government, and academia, we are in a better position to solve the needs of society.
One of the school precepts we emphasize in middle and high school is that students should live fully as human beings. We want them to be active in Japan's future and in international society with a broad vision and the ability to constantly improve themselves. Back when technical manuals were available only in foreign languages, the publication department at TDU produced textbooks in-house. Since then, TDU has continually supported the advancement of science, technology, and education in Japan. Since the foundation of our school, following our school mottos and our principles of education and research, we have seen over 220,000 young people graduate from our institution. Developing human resources who can contribute to society through technology. That is what Tokyo Denki University is all about.